Finally, a new boxing game is coming to consoles, to PC, whatever. I, I, I'm not talking about any mobile games. I'm not talking about any VR boxing games. I'm talking about a competitive game where you're playing one versus one in a boxing ring with a controller trying to outsmart, outbox, or knock out your opponent. After all this talk and hype, is finally going to happen in 2020. This is Edward, and you're watching Boxing Fanatico. Okay, many of you may not know this, but I love the boxing fight night series i loved it back when it was knockout kings i loved it when it was fight night round two and i even love it as fight night champions i i love the series are there flaws to the game definitely there's flaws to the game but it's still the best that we had so we work with what we had and i love boxing games so much that even though many many people did this this move many people migrated to the UFC games because it's the core essential team that makes the Fight Night series now makes the UFC series. And even Brian Hayes, who was always one of the lead spokesmen slash developers of the game, talks about UFC. So they've completely migrated over there and many of the combat sports fans migrated with them. But there's just an element, a technical element in boxing that isn't there when you do UFC. It has its own technical uh, prowess. It's, 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 it's not to say that it's inferior, it's just different. And me being a boxing fan, a fan of the sport of boxing, I always prefer the element, the technical elements of boxing as opposed to the technical elements of MMA. So I never made that leap. Uh, believe it or not, back in the days, there was this company called Virgin Gaming uh, made by the same company who makes Virgin Mobile. And they had this really top-notch competitive online uh, community in which I was ranked one of the highest in there with Fight Night Champions. This was actually a play-to-pay kind of system. You'll actually compete with other Fight Night players for bets up to $1,000, all legal within this system of Virgin Gaming. Although you were betting money, it wasn't considered gambling because it was competitive gaming. They also had tournaments, which I did very well in. Uh, so it was something that I cared a lot about. And it broke my heart when you know we, we went through an entire console generation without any boxing game that's on consoles at all. Now we've had some iterations of mobile games and stuff like that, but I don't care about any of those things. I need the spiritual successor to what Fight Night gave us. Now finally, we've had some games be talked about that are releasing uh, this year. I wanna go down the line of the three games that have been talked about and explain which one I'm actually excited for and what I think is the one that's going to maybe deliver or has the highest potential to deliver. First game we're gonna talk about is Hard Knock Live Boxing. Um, they released a trailer for this game and it's connected to a YouTube personality and it's all fine and dandy. The, the, what he was saying seemed good, I guess, in terms of what the mechanics will be uh, with pressure pressing, pressing the trigger, pressure points. So understanding how hard you're pressing the trigger may activate different animations so that it increases the deepness of the game and gives you more layers of control so that it's more it's a, so that it becomes a deeper game. But the animations of whatever they're showing us just looks hard horrific i mean even just looking at his animation in the game as he's talking or moving his face it just looks bad I, there's nothing about the game that that makes me feel like i i want to play this the fact that they're saying it's triple a kind of graphics it doesn't look like triple a graphics to me they might be saying that just to hype up their game and then at the same time i'm, I'm even just looking at this man hitting this punching bag, what is in that punching bag? Air, is that an air bag that he's hitting? Like what is going on? The animations to me just make it look like a mobile game. It doesn't look like anything that I even care about. And even just the moment I saw that trailer, I instantly did not care about this game. Plus they said they were going to release the game and they haven't released the game. 
they I think they have a Kickstarter account. It's just if you go on their website, it says the game is finally here. When you click it, it just takes you to the YouTuber who it, it just it, it all just seems messy and like like it's not being done by a professional team that cares about you know meeting their dates and giving us more information as it starts to close in on the game's release. It just seems like it's too sloppy. Uh, so I just really don't care for it. I, I believe it's being made by a company called Canadat Studios. But yeah, that's really all I know about it. They've acquired some fighters, but nothing special. Uh, so let's move on to the next game uh, that I would put. Basically, if I had to make a tier list, that, that game that I just mentioned would be the lowest tier. And then we're going to go to the next tier after that. And that's going to be round for round boxing. Now, round for round just sounds ridiculous. Why would you name a boxing game round for round? I'm, I'm beating him up round for round. I'm winning round for round. You could have easily just changed the, the R to a P and it would have made a hundred times more sense than round for round. You could have just been pound for pound. There isn't a game called pound for pound. You could have just been pound for pound, but no, you wanted to be round for round. Either way, that that's just... that I, I don't know. I was just so annoyed by that name. It just seems so childish. But... The game seems more further along than Hard Knocks Live or whatever that is. It seems more further along than that game, but it still doesn't look that good. I mean, they have Andy Ruiz um, locked in. They had a character model of Andy Ruiz. Don't don't think there's anything great about it. Um, I think they have Joseph Parker locked in, but not anything crazy either. So it's it's just, it, it doesn't, and then they also said they were going to release in 2019 and then haven't said anything. They just pushed the game back. They just, they're quiet. They don't even say, hey, we're delaying it. It's just delayed. Like, hey, we're supposed to release in the end of 2019, but, you know, we have it. So it's about to be the end of 2020 and we just, we're not saying anything. Just, just gives me sloppy vibes. Just doesn't make me feel comfortable about the end product if they ever were to actually release the uh, the game. Now we move on to the game that actually truly has promise. And this game is being created by Steel Interactive. Now, before I say anything, I have not been contacted by any of these companies uh, for Round for Round, Hard Knock Live, or this game that I'm going to talk about now. I haven't been contacted by any of them. All of this is my honest opinion from what I've seen, from the information that's been given to us by these developers. Now, this company called Steel City Interactives has a, a bunch of developers who've made other AAA games but have come together because of their love of boxing and have created the studio Steel City Interactive. Now, the game is going to be called Esports Boxing Club. Now, the title is kind of boring but at the same time illustrates the uh, seriousness of what they want to do in terms of making sure that it is actually there to be a competitive game and to be a, a serious game a game that you take seriously that you know just from that the word esports boxing club that it's not going to be this hokey mobile gaming animation or like fire every time you do an uppercut and you see flames and stuff you just know you just get the feel like there's a simulation aspect to this boxing game and they've acquired way more fighters than all of the other ones that i mentioned i mean they have ricky hatton uh arturo Gotti is one of the people that they've acquired uh mickey ward uh, which makes sense you want to have both of those guys they even have sergio martinez so they have some good acquisitions in terms of fighters now here's one thing that i want to say right off of the jump this is what i want to say I understand why EA Canada had to leave. EA Canada had to leave because why bother constantly chasing all of these fighters? Do you want to be in the game? Uh, no. Okay, cool. Do you want to be in the game? Uh, yes. All right. Sign here. But how much are you guys going to pay me? Huh? What? No, uh, we don't. We have a rule. We don't pay anybody. Uh, door shut. You want to you want to be in the game? Sure. You want to be in the game? No, you want to. It's just tiring. And I'm sure that every time they had to do this, they were just like, oh, please just stop the bleeding. And then UFC's popularity started to rise. And then UFC just made more sense because when you just signed one contract with Dana White or the UFC and you have everybody. 
So you don't have to think about any of that stuff. But as a boxing fan, and even as a video game boxing fan, I'm going to key you into something. Most people who desperately want a boxing game and a boxing simulation game, we don't care if you have anyone at all. And I don't know if maybe I'm overreaching by putting them in this in this basket, but we've waited for a game for so long. Just have good simulation boxing mechanics and animation and we're good. You know what you could do? I'm going to give you something that you can do right now. Trust me, no one's going to hate you. We're going to love it because the game came out. That's all we care about, the game. That's it. If you have if you want Mayweather in the game, but you can't get Mayweather. You know what you do? You create Lloyd Merriweather or actually, you know what? Don't do that cuz it's going to meme it's going to meme him. Uh, just make him Jack Morriston, Jack Morriston, right? And then just give him the attributes and the aura of Floyd Mayweather and similar looks to Floyd Mayweather with a very similar style. And if you have like some type of story element in there, make him be somewhat of a representative of Floyd Mayweather. Like, oh, he's undefeated. Nobody can beat him. Can you be the guy to beat him? He's defensive mastery and he can move and he can shoulder roll and everything is nice and... Do that type of stuff, and we'll be fine. We can have a faux Mayweather and a faux Manny Pacquiao and a faux Canelo Alvarez without you having to do any of that stuff. And then if and then if that's too risque, then go ahead and give us all of the options to be able to create them and make sure that the creative fighter model is very, very close to the normal fighter models that you already have in the game. That's it. That's it. No one will be mad at you. We'll be fine. Everybody will be okay. We'll go home happy and we'll have a boxing game where we can compete uh, competitively and it'll be and everyone will be and everyone will love it. And to the fighters out there, to the very selfish fighters out there that don't want to be in these boxing games, please understand that you the, please understand that the sport is bleeding right now the actual sport is bleeding and boxing games are actually what got many people into boxing believe it or not knockout kings is what got me into boxing to begin with i didn't even care for boxing i was young and then knock i played some knockout kings and then i'm like damn i really want to see what this is really about like in real life and watch it and see what's going on and i fell in love with it you know what I'm saying? I fell in love with it because of video games. Boxing games are an amazing gateway to creating new fans. And a lot of people are playing video games now. You want to migrate those people into the boxing world. And it's the easiest way to get the younger people to want to get into boxing. Get people like me. I love boxing video games. But I, I'm stuck playing Fight Night from like almost 10 years ago. So, you know, just be in the game. It's not going to cost you anything, but at the same time, it's going to bring so much more to you. If you're a good fighter, you get a good rating. You know how many people are going to like you as a real fighter? Simply because of that connection that it's just, it's like an easy thing for someone that's not into boxing, that doesn't look at, that doesn't watch boxing. They're going to say, wait a second. He's a good fighter. I know he is because his his rating is 93, and there's only like five 93s. So I and what is he Mexican? I'm Mexican. I like him. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he's a Filipino. I'm Filipino. I like him too. You know, it's just it's just it's a it's a gateway for people. So stop being so selfish. Just be in the game for free, man. It, it's free publicity in a sport that just honestly needs it now. Now that's out, out of the way. I, I'm sorry I went into that rant, but let's talk about what they've been talking about about the game. Now, they released two trailers for the game. The first trailer literally almost put me completely off to the game because although it looked like there were some mechanics that were pretty nice, like, for example, one of the fighters were holding his arm out, almost like testing the range with his left hand. Uh, you can see that he kept his arm out for a good amount of time in that trailer. So to me, I was like, that's pretty cool that, you know, he's doing that. I hope that that's a controllable animation. 
But at the same time, just the punches were so wide and just like not, did not look like a good boxing uh, mechanics or animation. So I was kind of put off, but I was still intrigued. Uh, when they took that trailer down and they said that that trailer was not representative of their actual uh, animation, then I felt, you know, a breath of fresh air. And then what made me hop on board was when they released the trailer with Johnny Nelson in it and I, I was just stunned. It said at the bottom, in-game engine, wow, unbelievable. The graphics are just amazing. Uh, now, if they tighten everything up, they are working with 1024, which is a uh, visual animation studio that's really popular and even working with visual graphics that that were done for for example death stranding uh it's just it, they, they're working with a good team and even those you know even working with them just shows the the seriousness of this game and how farther along it is than all the other ones like round for round and hard knock live so this is what shows that there's seriousness behind this as well as acquisition with the wbc which is super important the british boxing board of control which is another important acquisition and just a vast array of fighters that they've already acquired but on top of all of that their focus is razor sharp on competitive gaming uh the title alone should tell you esports boxing club but also they'll have something where it's like esports boxing uh, match tables and the WBC will be working with them closely so you can win the EWBC title and you can actually be the sole holder of the EWBC championship which is amazing and periodically they'll have these matches where uh, you're actually fighting as almost like an undercard to a real boxing fight so the pressure's on everyone who's watching this they're gonna people are gonna want to watch it i'm gonna want to watch it because that's just so curious to see like the two best of this boxing simulation game who's who's the best one of the two who's gonna win the championship and then on to the actual fights but it's just it's just a cool concept you know what i mean it's probably gonna be commentated live so it's pretty cool it's just a good overall kind of system to really make you you know see how big this is or how big it can become it's also gonna be somewhat of like a service uh, somewhat of like a games for service situation where they're going to keep adding to it. They'll have seasons and things like that. So they're really working super hard. And I think that they and, and many outlets have picked up the story on Steel City making this game. And I'm hoping that they actually deliver. Uh, I'm no longer holding out hope for EA Canada to return. Uh, I think that Steel City is going to grab the mantle and run with it. Things that the developers have said is that they wanted to make a Souls-like difficulty, which to me sounds beautiful. It just sounds like, you know, you can pick it up, you can play, but you got to master this thing. It's not going to be just do whatever you want, button mash, and you're going to be able to sit in there with somebody who's been doing this for a while. All that luck stuff is going to be reduced greatly. So if you're very, very, very good, you're going to dismantle somebody who's just button mashing. So that Souls-like difficulty to me, I, I love. They said that they're gonna have a really a deep career mode. On top of all of that, they're looking at the visual, they're looking at the visual animations and they want the visual animations to be top notch, which was my concern from the first trailer, but seeing that they've removed that trailer and said that it's not representative of their game shows that there is a potential to still have these great animations. They even commented on things that Fight Night did, where it's like every jab looks the same. They don't want that to be the case because in real life, every jab isn't going to look the same. Now, there's things that I like from Fight Night and there's things that I wish could be different from Fight Night. Uh, for example, Fight Night wasn't really too keen on your footwork. It didn't care too much for that. The inside fighting was kind of artificial. Yeah, you're close to each other, but there isn't really that inside dirty boxing grappling kind of you know scenario where you're doing certain things strategically with the grapple uh with pushing you know i want to see more referee involvement i know that that's something that a lot of people think is annoying but 
it's realistic if someone is consistently you know pushing i want to see a referee come in and say hey stop you know stop pushing you know i want to see things like hey pick it up if somebody's throwing low blows i want to see you know the referee say hey pick it up or the referee come on grab and stop you or you know break people up if it's just too much you know i want to see those kind of things or even jump in and and wave his hands to protect the fighter and call it out and call a TKO because the person's just beating the guy up. I wanna see what was kind of hinted at where you can kind of check the range and stuff like that. I wanna see movement. I wanna so I wanna be able to see counters happen. You know, I just want I want it I do want it to be much deeper than the fight night games. I want it to be a spiritual successor, just you know, taking what they created and, and advancing that. Uh, not taking steps backwards. I want. I mean, it's been over 10 years. You can. You there's technology to make it better, way better than Fight Night, even if they're a smaller uh, company. But they've said that they want to completely revolutionize combat gaming, which is a bold statement because they're basically calling out EA Canada even right now with their UFC games. They want to revolutionize the entire process, and I'm all for it because I love boxing games now this game is going to come out first on pc which just continues to show how serious they are and then early 2021 it's going to come out for consoles but look out for this game i am definitely going to get it as soon as it comes out if what i see is what i like basically the ball is in their hands i'm intrigued i'm interested it's their ball to drop so if they can deliver then who oh, please thank you because the drought has been very, 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 very long. And I still play Fight Night to this day. Fight Night Champions, thank God uh, Xbox One made it backwards compatible because that's what I play Fight Night Champion on. And because it's backwards compatible, I was able to get back into it. Uh, so I, I, you know, I'm just dying for a new boxing game. If this boxing game comes out and is good and is and it does well and it and it shows and is and and the animations are nice, the graphics are nice and the mechanics are good and it's really deep, there's no point for me to ever go back to Fight Night and 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 Fight Night and if you EA ever wants to step back into the ring, uh, metaphorically speaking, then they're going to have to be competitive, which is great because competition just makes the consumer win when it's all said and done. So hopefully you guys love this video. I know this is more about boxing, this channel is more about boxing, but I can definitely keep talking about boxing games if that's what you want, because I love boxing video games and I could do let's plays and everything with the game when it comes out, which is what I'm planning to do. So if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And of course, as always guys, this is Edward from Boxing Fanatico and I'll see you next time.